Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, check out Fans Top. It'd be a great time to hop on the Shirt of the Month Club, uh, a shirt sent to your doorstep every single month, like clockwork. You can get 10% off the first three months by using our code SURGE on there, and you won't be disappointed. Don't have to do any shopping. They'll send it to your house, and it's great different shirts each and every month. Big news as the Sooners land a, a three-star offensive interior offensive lineman out of Utah, Darius Afalava, uh, 6'5", 6'4 325. I've seen many different things listed, but Hunter, this is a guy who uh, chose OU over Utah, Washington, and, and Michigan State, and really the two that I think probably that stood out to me was on that west coast of Washington. Of course, Washington had a lot of changes. Uh, and then you have Utah, which is where he's from there at Utah at Sky Ridge. But uh, I think for me, Hunter, what stands out immediately, it has to, is the size. For an incoming uh, guy to be that uh, big at 6'5", 320, uh, he's already got a lot there that they can work with and super excited uh, to get him on campus, I'm sure, Bill Beatenbo and staff are. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned it from Utah. So to get him away from an in-state school that was at his final four is difficult to do. But 6'5", 320, very talented interior offensive lineman, plays a lot of guard, a little mobile. There, there was some times in the huddle film where you could see him even slide over to tackle and be able to pull there, but very strong. Again, uh, in high school, it's kind of hard to tell at times with – the, the defensive lineman that you're going against, but he gets a lot of pancakes, a whole lot of pancakes. And a lot of the pancakes are kind of just all upper body, like just pure strength of pushing them over and them not being able to do anything about it. You look in the weight room for Afalava, 405 bench press, according to his huddle, 575 squat with a 315 power queen. So pretty impressive numbers for an offensive lineman. Third offensive lineman of the class for Bill Biedenbow at this point, joining Ryan Foje and Owen Hollenbeck. So two interior offensive linemen in a tackle right now for the Sooners in this offensive line class that they're trying to put together a another very impressive class. And maybe if everything goes to plan, an even better class than a year ago, which was a very uh, special class for Bill Biedenbow and the Sooners. Yeah, Sooner fans would love for another class to be stacked on top of that 2024 class, something similar. And this helps. You mentioned the two interior uh, positions along with the tackle. Uh, Hunter, you highlighted some of the uh, measurements uh, of Alpha Lava in the weight room. And to me, he's got the strength, he's got the size, and something that comes alongside that that people won't talk about a lot, but it's got to be mentioned. Uh, the son of Al Alpha Lava, a, a former NFL player. So he's also got those intangibles growing up around the game, growing up with a father who was uh, not only invested in the sport, but gave his life to it. It was his career there. Uh, to me, that, that stacks up a little bit more because I think just the knowledge that he has, uh, I'm sure is probably above the, the normal senior in high school. Uh, Al, uh, playing under Al Falava or not playing under him, but being under his tutelage kind of day in and day out at his house. So I think that's got to be a little bit. Also, he was uh, the 2023 uh, Under Armour, one of the highlighted guys there in that 2023 camp there that he went to. Yeah, he's had a very good camp across the board through all of the, the different camps that you're able to go to. But you, you mentioned it. Uh, his father played in the NFL, was a safety Played for a bit, and that helps a lot when your dad's able to make it to the highest uh, form of football, being able to get there, knowing what it takes. I think that helps him a lot even in high school now as kind of the work that you got to put into to be uh, a, a sought-after recruit, to be able to go to a Power 4 school, to be able to eventually – go to the NFL as that's the goal for everybody at this level to get to the NFL, the most difficult league for the sport to get to. It's such a select process, but top five player in Utah, even as high as number one, depending on the sites, rivals has them as the number one player in Utah, 
ESPN and 247 has him top five. And then in the composite rankings, he's number three in the state of Utah. But a top 40 interior offensive lineman, top 20 to top 30, depending on the site. And number 40, 430 overall in the class, according to the 247 composite rankings. Yeah, I like it. I mean, he's, he, sure, he's a three-star, but I think he provides some things, especially that Bill Biedemo wants, so they wouldn't have uh, gone after this guy. But you, you mentioned his father in the NFL, Hunter. Obviously, it's every college athlete's goal, college football player's goal to get there. Uh, he probably knows what it takes with his father, but also I am sure they've looked at the line of players that's come out of Norman, specifically from the offensive line. They've had to have. And I think that paired with going to the SEC, because Utah is going to the Big 12. I mean, Michigan State's in, in a big-time conference, so it's not like he's choosing the SEC over, over a WAC conference or something like that. Uh, I do think that the SEC, though, uh, playing against that competition and being under Bill Biedenbo, seeing the success that he has had, listen, with not a lot of five stars, uh, a lot of those guys in the NFL were in the same boat uh, maybe a three-star ranking, just like Apalava is heading into Norman. So I, I do think that that probably played a, a pivotal role, and kudos to Bill Biedenbo. Yeah, interior offensive line is kind of the position that Oklahoma is still needing to improve on. You're looking after this season, possibly a few eligible for the draft. Uh, as well as kind of that that's a position that still has a lot of question marks. Uh, I mean, if Fabecchi and Wiwu has a fantastic year, he could be going pro after one year in Norman. You you also have uh, Garen Hatchett that, again, if he's healthy and has a great year, could be in, in the same boat of being able to go pro, and you're going to have to replace him with one of the younger players. But you look at the past two classes for Oklahoma interior wise. I mean, Eugene Brooks, Eddie Pierre Louis, Darius Afalava, Owen Holland back in this class as well. So far, Ryan Foje, depending on who Oklahoma also lands at tackle, could maybe uh, play a little bit of interior offensive line. But Bill Beanbow's putting together a very, uh, very, very good position group across the offensive line, sacking talent. This is going to be two straight recruiting classes that are the best of his career uh, with the way things are looking right now. Uh, and on top of the players that he's brought in from the transfer portals and some of the veteran guys he has already in this offensive line. And one thing to note and maybe a note as we get further into this season is it's been said that Seth Luttrell running the running style running scheme they do like to pull a little more, which is right up Darius Afalava's alley. Uh, Darius Afalava is a Sooner committed to the University of Oklahoma. Thanks again for checking out our content here at the Sooner Surge. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment. Darius Afalava, three-star interior offensive lineman, now an Oklahoma Sooner. We'll see you next time.